Hey folks, we are going to take a look into uh, connecting your uh, computer to, uh, through display port to a monitor. So what I have here is a 2015 model MacBook Pro for, for reference and it has a USB 3.0 standard which supports uh, 5 gigabits per second. Uh, so I, uh, I believe uh, you need something uh, uh, about 3.0 uh, to be uh, successful. And uh, 3.1 would also work, that would support 10 gigabits per second, for example. And 3.2 could, could support 20 gigabits per second, so all of those would work fine. Uh, but this is basically our baseline. So, uh, so you, DisplayLink is a US-based company and uh, they have a, a website called uh, DisplayLink.com. And here you can download uh, the drivers for all major operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, Android, Chrome, and uh, Ubuntu. And they even seem to have a commercial uh, one for Windows. Um, once you install, uh, pay attention to uh, the, uh, enabling all the permissions that it asks. Eventually you need to go to your privacy settings and under screen recording you need to enable the Display Link Manager app. Uh, with the check mark, uh, you need to basically unlock here and then enable that. And if you don't see display link here, try reinstalling it again, uh, try restarting, and try also fiddling with your HDMI uh, cable just in case it, it, it is loose. So, for the hardware, we are using uh, a help uh, from uh, QGIM. Uh, it does have a very nice finish to it, the size seems to be made of some metal. Uh, maybe aluminum and the top is a uh, glossy uh, material and QGIM sign is always illuminated. In the front there is headphones and microphone outputs and inputs. Uh, for example you can keep your speakers plugged in here uh, so it makes it easy uh, basically. All you, you have to do to, um, to connect all these peripherals you just plug in the USB. Uh, three USB ports in the front uh, power power on light here as well and four USB ports on the back, Ethernet, DVI uh, this is the HDMI output, currently the monitor is using that this goes to, to your USB port and it needs to be powered on all the time and this is the switch, I'll just show you how quick it, it, it is to uh, for it to come, come back on from an off position of course, your speed of your monitor would also be influential here, but within a few seconds, uh, the graphics is uh, back. Basically, I've been very pleased with the quality of the graphics. I haven't seen any difference uh, than using HDMI, although um, although I haven't played games. I, I I've been watching videos, for example, and uh, one of the benefits of using the Display Port is. Um, so whenever you use HDMI, you are kind of uh, stuck to using only one side of your laptop. But, uh, for example, this laptop has uh, a USB port on the left side as well, so I can uh, equivalently use, uh, use the, the graphics output through the left side of the laptop. Which may also help uh, you shift the power consumption uh, within, within your laptop's um, uh, motherboard. So. Uh, you would be shifting the processing from your HDMI to, to your USB port and uh, maybe offloading some of that to an outside hub like this one. So it may help with some uh, temperature uh, issues that you might having as well. So that's all. Thanks for watching.